battle against America's addiction to pain pills, though far from over. But new tonight, ABC 15's Faye Frederick shows us a new drug on the market right now that doctors hope may one day make opioids obsolete. A lifelong love of sports and some unlucky genes landed David Mathias on the operating table for shoulder surgery. After having knee surgery and foot surgery, you know, I knew that the numbing process, you know, usually lasted you know, 24 hours roughly. But instead of taking opioid pain pills as he had following those past procedures, David's doctor suggested a new drug called Expiral. It does two things. It, it, you don't need as much anesthesia during the operation and you're nice and comfortable for hopefully the a nice amount of time after the surgery. Dr. James Andre began incorporating Expirel into his surgical practice last year after becoming increasingly concerned about the effects of opioids on individual patients. Every time I sign that prescription, there's always a thought in the back of my head, you know, am I doing harm? It's a big topic in the medical community. Orthopedic surgery, particularly, um, my colleagues and myself, uh, we're 2.5% of, of all physicians. We prescribe 8% of the narcotics in the country. So we are, uh, we're on the front lines for sure. No doubt about it. Expiral is injected into the surgical site while the patient is in the operating room. It essentially bathes the nerves, preventing pain signals from being sent to the brain. Every patient's different, but I usually get a benefit of two to four days after the procedure is performed. Um, before the invention of Expiril, it was a 12 to 24 hour window. While promising, nerve blocking drugs are only one line of attack for doctors and hospitals trying to tackle the opioid crisis. Doing a better job of screening patients is another. Factors that we don't always consider, things like their personal history of drug abuse problems, that includes to tobacco and, and alcohol. Um, other things like their personal psychiatric history, do they have depression, anxiety, those can be risk factors for overdose and or abuse potential. The Mayo Clinic's Dr. Holly Geyer says many physicians are also turning to old-fashioned Tylenol and Advil again. Big surgeries, thoracic related, abdominal related, sometimes we don't use these lighter medications, but for many outpatient procedures and then those where we expect fast recovery, they're great first line agents. Five and a half months out of surgery? Yes. And how are we doing? feel great. Yeah. I played my first round of golf last week. With and, success uh, like David's, smooth. things like Expiral could soon become the norm. The, the drug is very new and, and we have a lot of optimism about it, but we need the guidelines and, and you don't want to make your patients your hamsters. So while this isn't a total replacement for opioids yet, Dr. Andre says its use in conjunction with traditional pain management means he's already writing 50% fewer pain pill prescriptions. Drug reps say using Expiral typically only adds about $300 onto the cost of surgery. Now, not all patients have reported the same success as David. So as with any drug, talk to your doctor about whether Expiral is right for you.